Matthew Yates shouldn't be too disappointed in that. I think he learned quite a bit from that race. I think he ran a pretty good race. I think he just found himself with a little bit too much to do before they came to the 400 meter mark. Just to add Mario Silva of Portugal to the four that went through there to make up the five by right. First five plus two. And Steve Cram, uh, looking pensive as uh, one would expect really. He had uh, a very difficult uh, first day in this 1500 meters and uh, of course has said now that his mind is a little clearer uh, with the injury more localized and not so severe. Steve Cram prowling around. Stiff after the uh, race yesterday, reinstated after that knock, and quite rightly so. His groin stiffened up again, but uh, after treatment, he was down at the physios and on the track side early this morning. Had a look at videotape of the race yesterday, and he's uh, fairly relaxed now. The lineup herald of uh, Germany, the European champion, will be on the inside. Then Torelli of Italy, Gonzalez, the veteran Sp Spaniard, Goldberg of Denmark, Simon Doyle, Australian, number two in the world at the moment, Okuyama of the Japan, Meldikov of the Soviet Union, David Kibet, number six in the world from Kenya. This is how they line up from the inside. Still another five to go. And next will be Saeed Awita, the world record holder. Then Thibaut of France, Benito of Spain, Suleiman of Qatar, and Steve Cram right on the outside. And he won't mind that one little bit because it'll keep him out of trouble. Brendan Foster. Well, there's his great rival, Saeed Awita. Steve came down to the uh, BBC compound and had a look at the video of yesterday's race and decided that uh, Awita was in good form, had run a good race because he wasn't in a position to see it from, uh, from his, him being behind him yesterday. Jens Peter Herald, the European champion. And I can just see this race today and tomorrow with Jens Peter Herald. If it isn't fast enough and they give him a chance, he's got a fearsome kick in the finishing straight. And if he's in contention, he'll take some beating, whether it's Morsley, Awita, or whoever. And he's taken this couple of weeks away from the Grand Prix circuit, and found, I would imagine he'll find, he'll find, we'll find him in outstanding form when he comes here today. Steve Cram asked if we could get a message to him, because the, the team management hasn't been able to contact him when he's on the track, if we can get a message to him about the qualifying time of the previous heat. Well, the previous heat, the fastest loser was 3 minutes and 41 seconds. Steve knows that now, he's been informed of that, which means that I'm sure he'll take some pace out. He'll set a pace after they go through four or 500 meters to give himself a chance of qualifying, not only in the first five, but also as a fastest loser. Well, of course, at this level, it's uh, always going to be a tough draw. Saeed Awita is the biggest name in this, the world record holder coming back after injury. He's now 30. Uh, Steve Cram won the world title, this world title in 83. After injury, he got into the final last time, but, uh, well, it wasn't there. And he's in the same situation four years later. Simon Doyle, the number two in the world from Australia. The new Australian mile record holder at 349.91. The new 1500 meter record holder at 331.97. Following a, a great chain of athletes. And remember, this is a young man who's run faster than Herb Elliott, uh, John Landy, and some of the other great names produced in Australian miling and 1500 meter running. Of course, conditions were improving and the greatest advance, I think, in uh, producing times, not just training methods and lighter shoes, but these tracks, these synthetic tracks. The wind, by the way, rather kindly, has dropped a little bit. There are 13 in this semi-final. The first five go through and the two fastest losers. 1500 meter semi final, three and three quarter laps of the track. The initial rush, as ever, is to rally in the blue vest of Italy who takes it on. Next to him is the veteran Gonzalez. And they're looking around now at each other. The initial rush over. Who's going to do something? And it's Thibaut of France who goes on in front. Thibaut with that long hair, now 32. Former European indoor champion, second in the French championship this uh, year, and three times the previous champion. But having got that, Having made the dash, he looked like he was going to be positive, but he slowed it down again. And Cram keeping right up there with the leaders. Torelli on the inside, just behind them, Harold, and then David Cabet. It's Goldberg at the back. So they're settled down to a jog. Doesn't look as if the fastest losers are going to come from this one. Because there's no one prepared to lead. They've got three laps when they pass there. And Steve Cram's decided enough is enough. 
and takes it on. It's not going to be easy in this headwind, and, but he's got the wind behind him down the back straight. But this swirling wind as they come back around the top bend and back into the home straight means the leader takes the buffeting. 62.20. The first uh, heat was 60.91. Well, that first 300 meters is quite foolish on behalf of all the athletes because they know that the two qualifying times can, could come from this heat because they know exactly what they've got to do. And on cram shoulder, David Kibet. Lots of the Kenyans are talking about Kibet being their main challenger for the final and also to be the one to challenge the other two Africans, Saeed Awido, Saeed Awida and Morsley. But Cram's stretching them. He's not going excessively fast. He's beginning to wind it up. And I think they should be closing on him now because, as I say, that Awida moves out on the outside and decides to do that very thing. Coming around with two laps to go. Cram leads, Kibet in second place, Harold in third, Torelli four, Doyle five, Gonzalez six, Benito seven, Tivo eight, and the Japanese Okayama in ninth place. And Saeed Awida right at the back at the moment, blocked. There's nowhere for him to go if somebody makes a break, but that appears to be unlikely. Approaching 800 meters, 23.63. It's now faster than the first heat, which was uh, 23.95. Well, they've got to start stretching now to get those extra qualification points. And Kibet looks ominously strong there, poised on the outside. Awida quite confident running at the back. And right behind Kram and Kibet is the European champion, Jens Peter Herald, who's had a trouble-free ride and will be happy with that. And you can sense, because the gaps are growing a little, you can sense that the pace is increasing. Well, they'll all start gathering now as they move up on the outside. They see the one lap to go sign, and they start sprinting. Well, Kram's been bold. He knows uh, perhaps his sprint finish is not as good as it used to be, but he always used to like to wind it up in front, and he's taken it on. 2.47.3 watt at the bell. Graham still leading. Kibet in second place. Third is Doyle. Four is Harold. Five is Gonzalez. Six is Benito. The first five only sure to qualify. Seven is Torelli. Eight is Suleiman. And Awita beginning to move now in ninth place and coming up very fast from the back. Suleiman goes through on the inside, which is dangerous. 200 meters left. And the break for home is on. It's Simon Doyle now, Australia. Cram in second place. And Cram got uh, boxed a little bit there. He's gone backwards on the inside. Uh, Harold now of East Germany has got this explosive finish. And Cram's got nowhere to go at all. He's trying to get a run on the inside. It's Harold now, the European champion. And the blanket finish is going to be Awita's now answer. Harold wins. Awita's second. Doyle is third. Coming through on the inside was Suleiman. And Kibet was there as well. Uh, but the time, 3.41.23. They slowed there. And it's doubtful if Steve Cram will go through as a fast loser. But there was a tremendous blanket finish there. Cram shakes his head. And this, by the way, it's only his fifth race. He's not happy with what happened there where he lost his place at the top end. He couldn't get off the curb. He had to settle for this claustrophobic run on the inside, and he really had nowhere to go. Harold, it's made for him, the European champion. He loves uh, this short pass finish. Off he goes, Doyle on the inside. Gonzalez, is the veteran Spaniard right there. Cram desperately looking for room, and the space doesn't come. Cabet on the outside, a Wheater on the outside, and Suleiman, he finds a run on the inside, and Cram's drifted out off the curb to try and find space. Harold, a Wheater, Doyle, Suleiman, Cabet, the qualifiers, and look at that line there. Benito is in sixth place, Cram seven. He got a bit unlucky there, looking for space. Well, he stretched them around this lap, but I don't think he stretched them enough. He got himself into a position there where they were passing him on the outside. I think his lack of speed was beginning to show. He looks to be fairly strong, but he doesn't look to have the zip in the finishing straight that you need. And coming into the finishing straight, Doyle's working hard. Herald looks very strong and very fast. Gonzalez coming back to some kind of form. Kibet, number one, 708 there from Kenya, working very, very hard indeed. And Awida just doing enough, doing it very sensibly. And Cram found a gap there. He found his way through, but he just didn't have any legs when he needed to. He also let the Angolan through, and this is the first time we've seen an Angolan through to the final. Sorry, he's from Qatar. Actually, uh, what I was saying, Cram was a bit unlucky. This is only his fifth race, 
he's obviously not uh, world championship winning material at the moment but he's obviously coming back and things are not just happening for him when you are super fit well you can dictate but he's not in a physical position to dictate at the moment and then suddenly when he found that little gap he wanted there wasn't quite enough for him to go through and the result was he let Suleiman through on the inside and the little man from Qatar qualified Well, somewhere to go before the 5,000 metres. Gary Staines going on to the warm-up track. One of the three Britons taking part in the uh, qualifications. They eliminated.